In this video, we're going to show you how to clean your corner posts and then lubricate your corner posts. Keeping your machine clean and lubricated is one of the most important things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. And this particular cleaning and lubrication is key to keeping your machine and your head pressure operating correctly. So the first thing, or the, the things we're going to need is some rags to lay down inside the machine because we are going to be using some WD-40 to clean. And so we'll lay these down such that your belts won't get any WD-40 on them or your machine will keep your machine from getting a lot of that uh, spray on, onto the machine. We'll be using some towels for wiping uh, the, the corner post down and then some lubrication. And what the lubrication we're going to use is a Primrose grease with Molly. It's uh, Primrose number 327 and you can uh, buy this at Grizzly and probably some other sources as, a, as well. So the first thing we're going to do is clean it. We're going to crank the head to the top of its range. We're going to lay down our, our towels here to keep our machine from getting too splattered and dirty. We're going to take our WD-40, spray it on a towel, really load it up. We're going to go ahead and clean every one of the corner posts. Start on the bottom, obviously. Really work in that WD-40. It breaks up any of the grease, any of the gunk, sawdust that's, that's uh, accumulated on those corner posts. You can kind of see what uh, comes off. Go ahead, do all four just like that. And this is something you should check with your head pressure uh, routinely and clean. It doesn't take very long, but dust can, especially very fine dust, can get into that grease and start to harden and really affect your head pressure, which then affects the carving quality on your machine. So once we have the four corner, corner posts cleaned at the bottom, we're going to take our WD-40 and we're going to spray it onto our lead screws. The lead screws are the part of the machine, if you look inside the machine, that is threaded that when you turn the crank moves the head up and down. And that collects a lot of dust in those threads. So we're going to go ahead and take our WD-40 and spray it on the lead screw as far up as we can get. It will be a little splatter, but you don't want to get too much in there. So then we're going to let it run down the lead screw I'm going to do it on both sides here. Go ahead, take a rag, and we're going to clean as much off as we can. But we're also going to crank it up and down to kind of get, let that WD-40 penetrate into any any of the gunk that's stuck in the threads. So next, we're going to crank our head as far down as we can. And already I can feel that the head has loosened up a lot. So we're going to go ahead and crank our head down. We're going to repeat this step for the top of the uh, corner post that we can see. These are a little more difficult to get your fingers in there, but you can uh, really work that tile in, get that grease out. Then the final step we're going to do here at the top, while it's cranked down is spray a little bit of WD-40 on the guide post and let it, let it work down into the uh, head casting. You'll see that there's, there'll be some grease that accumulates on the head as you crank it up and down. And that WD-40 will get down in there and break up some of that gunk that's accumulated right there at the bottom of the head or at the top of the head. While we have the head down, we're going to go ahead and take and spray it right at the top of the lead screw, kind of like what we did uh, underneath the first time, and let it run down, down to the nut to also break, break up some of the, the uh, gunk that's accumulated on top of the nut. So once you've done that, 
You can now crank your head, your head up and down a couple of times to really work that. W40 in. You can even hear a difference in this case. One thing we can do here is crank it all the way to the top. And go ahead and grab our lead screw and just crank it down and let our hand follow or down as you go up and down. That'll get into those threads and remove some of that material if it's really caked in there. So at this point, we're clean, and we can go ahead and apply our uh, lubrication to the corner posts and to the lead screws. This is fairly straightforward. You crank it up again, just like we did at the very beginning. We like to use uh, a little brush. We can get, get into places your fingers can't usually get, or other types of applicators. And you're going to simply want to put a very thin coat up and down each post, try to get in from the from the back if possible. You don't want to leave too much on it because excess grease will of course attract the dust and you'll have to clean it more more often. But you want to coat it with a nice thin film of, of the grease. Of course we're going to do this doll four. and coat the lead screws. You don't want to fill up the thread so much, that'll be excess. Again, just a very thin coat on the areas that you can touch. So at that point, we can go ahead and crank our head down. Go ahead and touch the top tops of our posts. We're unable to put uh, any grease on the top side of the lead screws, so uh, you know the, the nut will absorb a lot of that grease that you put on the lower side and then distribute it along the lead screw as you crank it up and down. But at that point, we're now fully lubricated. Run your head up and down a couple times to distribute that along the lead screws and the corner posts. And then clean up your machine of any grease that you see that kind of piles up from the lubrication process. And that's how you lubricate your corner posts and your lead screws.